Okay, guys, it is Saturday night again, and you guessed it, I am so excited. Probably even more excited than I have been for any other Saturday night snack in a movie that I have ever done. Guys, tonight, we are watching one of my all-time, probably in my top five favorite movies of all time. If you haven't guessed it yet by the shirt and the TV and the poster behind me, tonight we are watching Indiana Jones in the Temple of Doom. Oh my gosh, guys, I love this movie so much you wouldn't even believe it. Take a look at this poster back here. We got the Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom poster. We got Shorty's hat. We got Indy's hat. We got Indy's whip. We got Indy's book of adventures. And tonight we are going to make something else that we need to put up a little shelf for on that wall so we can display it. And that would be this guy right here. What in the world? Guys, do you remember the scene when they are at the temple? They're sitting around the table and everybody's getting ready to eat and they pull out the chilled monkey brains. When I decided to do this movie, guys, I knew we had to do the chilled monkey brains, but I had no idea where we were going to get a chilled monkey brains head. So I made one. Tonight, you guys are going to come with me, well, right over here, <laughs> while I pull out the clay and a bunch of other things to show you exactly how I made this. This guy right here, the chilled monkey brains monkey head. The top even comes off, and you can put your monkey brains right inside. We made the top, we made the head, we even made the goblet that he's sitting on. And if that's not enough, we are going to fill it with some chilled monkey brains. So holy crap, guys, come with me on this awesome adventure that even Indiana Jones himself would be proud of as we watch this movie and make this prop and fill it with chilled monkey brains. Okay, so this is going to be very interesting. I went today to a Michael's store and to a Dollar Tree, and I'm going to show you what I picked up to use in an attempt to make this monkey cup bowl, whatever, so that we could eat our monkey brains out of an actual monkey head, just like in the Temple of Doom. <laughs> so the first thing that I got was this air dry modeling clay. Now I got four pounds of this stuff. It's pretty heavy, but I got four pounds so that I could mess up as many times as I needed to, and I'd still have more left if I need it. The next thing I got was this little pack of clay tools. This is used for like shaping and cutting and scratching. Um, you'll see as we go through this, because there's lots of details, the eyes, the teeth, things like that. I got a bottle of black and white paint as well as a paintbrush, and I think I have some more paintbrushes in the other room. And I got this stuff here called Craft Fluff. I got white and black. Now, I was looking for some hair, some theater hair or something, because this monkey is disgusting looking and has hair all over it. So, since it has gray hair, this was the closest thing I could find, some white and some black. The black was only a buck, and this one was like $3. So it really wasn't that expensive, and it looks like I'm going to be able, by the texture of it, to just kind of pull on it, and it will make like a hair-like material. To build our monkey head on, I got this coconut cup from the Dollar Tree. The reason I chose this, ugh, the reason I chose this is because it has a cup, and it has a lid. So this can be the top of the monkey's head, it can come off easily, and then we have the bowl inside the monkey's head that we can put our chilled monkey brains in. Now the last thing that I got was one of these 
cups, goblets, whatever you want to call it. Because in the movie, there's some kind of a thing that the monkey head sits on. Now, it sits up a little bit higher like this. Once I build the monkey head up, maybe it will sit up that high. But I kind of thought maybe that would finish it off. Of course, this is going to need to be painted so that it will fit the theme. And yes, the flowers are coming off and everything. So, like I said, this is going to be interesting. I'm going to pull up some pictures on my laptop here so that I have some reference pictures. And since I'm going to have to focus so much on this, I'm just going to film my hands and what I'm doing while I watch the movie. <laughs>
now I just have to let them dry for at least 24 hours. Put a little bit more hair on the top of the skull here so that when we set it on top, it looks even more like what it looked like in the movie before they took the top off. Guys, here he is, the final product, the final chilled monkey brains head. This took about three days, if not four, to complete because first we had to mold everything. We had to let it dry for 24 hours, at which time I realized not all of it was dry, so we had to let it dry even longer. Then we applied all the paint. I even put on more hair on the top because I thought it looked better. Originally, I was going to have the goblet up this way, but it just kind of made sense to do it this way because it's a little bit more stable with the big part on the bottom. But look at that face. I think that turned out really, really good. The top comes off and we can put our chilled monkey brains right in the bowl on the inside. Okay, so as far as our actual chilled monkey brains. At first I was going to do a concoction of like a strawberry sauce and some real strawberries cut up into small pieces, but then I was thinking, I don't know, that doesn't really look like brains. Then I went back and I watched that section of the movie again, and when the guy takes a bite it looks more like custard or jello. So I looked it up, and in the original movie they did use custard flavored with a raspberry sauce. So I was going to do that, but then... As I was looking at my monkey, I realized that, as I was looking at my monkey, oh my gosh, <laughs> I realized that my cup split. Where is it? Yeah, right here, the inside of my cup split. Must have been from when I was rolling it to try to flatten out the clay. And I just realized also that my monkey head 
is cracked right there. What the heck? I gotta learn how to better use clay because I didn't use any water when I was molding this guy. Let's fix your hair. <laughs> and if I would have used water, I would have been able to like smooth that down a little bit more and that probably would have prevented the cracks. If we take a look at the goblet here as well, there's also some cracks around there. So it looks really cool. But I'm kind of afraid to put anything wet in there, being that I broke the coconut cup. So what I decided to do was, I got two of these bags of gummy snakes. And if you remember in the movie, they also have snake surprise for dessert, where they cut open this giant snake and then all these little like eels crawl out. So I thought this would be perfect because it kind of looks like a brain already, if you look at that. So I'm just simply going to put all my little gummy snakes into my monkey head. That way I have something in there that is basically dry. It's nothing wet that's going to seep through and possibly further damage my monkey head. <laughs> so once again... A ball of snakes here. We're just putting them in and that will create our monkey brains. I mean I think that looks as good as any kind of monkey brains could possibly look for this movie night snack. Then we just simply dip in and put our lid on and there we go guys. There is our monkey head filled with monkey brains for our snack. And we are gonna go kick back and watch Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Guys, make sure you subscribe, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and come over to the Facebook page, That Nate Guys and Gals, and post up your pictures of your very own movie nights.